Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. So let's say you got fast API application, you implemented your project and now you want to deploy it. So obviously you can go cloud and you can buy um, cloud instance or maybe get some free instance and deploy your application there. So it all depends on resources that you need for the application. If the application is simple and it doesn't require uh, too much of memory and CPU, then you can probably find some free cloud instance and you're good to go. But in case if your application uh, works uh, with data, it requires lots of memory and uh, powerful CPU, <clears throat> then it would be fairly expensive to uh, purchase cloud instance for this application. Uh, but this is there is an alternative solution which I'm also using, and this alternative solution uh, is based on the approach when you can use uh, ngrok, and through ngrok you can expose your local application to the internet, and you can set up HTTPS, you can set up custom domain, and uh, it will be like your own cloud basically for the fast API application. And uh, this is especially good if you have some spare computer which you're not using for your daily work and this computer doesn't do any job, it just uh, stays somewhere. You can use, uh, leverage this computer, you can uh, start it up, deploy your fast application there and with NROC you can set up a tunnel uh, which uh, would allow to access this application from the outside. And typically, local computer, uh, it would already have uh, enough RAM, for example, good CPU, uh, <clears throat> and to purchase the same configuration machine on cloud would be more expensive. So if you run your fast API application locally, you would just pay for the electricity, but the rest is free. And let me walk you through the uh, setup and the way how I'm using NGROC. So first of all, it's, I should say it's very easy to set up NGROC with fast API application. The only thing you need uh, on the machine where fast app application runs, you need to authorize this machine with the ngrok service uh, by uh, executing ngrok command and supplying uh, authentication token. Once this will be done, then you can go to the ngrok dashboard and copy ngrok commands executed on the machine where application runs, and you should specify the port on which uh, fast application runs, and then ngrok will automatically will route all the traffic that uh, goes through the ngrok uh, to this specific endpoint uh, where fast API application runs, and all the communication will work um, out of the box. So I would recommend to go to the ngrok uh, getting started uh, guide, and here you have all the information that you need to get started and run the application. Uh, so you need to install ngrok on machine where fast IP application runs then as I said before you need to uh, authorize uh, uh, authorize uh, in step three uh, authorize the machine uh, with ngrok through the authentication token right then you start ngrok and you specify the ports on which your application runs and then all the traffic will be will, will be uh, directed uh, once user from the outside will be accessing the IP on which your ngrok service runs then uh, all this traffic will be directed to this local port and there is a way to secure the the, the tunnel and so on so uh, actually in ngrok you can also if you pay for the ngrok service there are uh, either free option or paid option if you pay for ngrok there is uh, uh, such thing available which is called uh, cloud edge and with the cloud edge you can you, you just define this uh, cloud edge and you get automatically endpoint then you can set up your custom domain you get a HTTPS uh, certificate out of the box which is renewed automatically by the ngrok you don't need to do anything for that and <clears throat> you get some monitoring also uh, functionality which uh, helps to monitor if this tunnel is healthy or not and, and so on so on so on so I personally use this cloud edge functionality uh, to expose my local application to the internet and this uh, feels like your own cloud and your machine, your computer is part of the cloud. So actually what is cloud? Cloud is some computer running on the internet. So this is what you get with the NROC uh, for, for yourself. All right, so uh, if we look into the NROC dashboard, we see we got endpoints here. So this endpoint, it means that uh, in this case, I'm running two NROC agents on my machine and endpoints defined basically two different ports for the application. Then there's a domain section and I have two 
custom domains pointing to the end block IP and as soon as someone is accessing this uh, uh, domain from the outside then the traffic is routed to the uh, local application. And the local application that I'm using is uh, Sparrow. So this is our solution to uh, extract data from the documents. It's developments ongoing and we're adding new functionality right now. Uh, it is using uh, Donut ML model to extract uh, data from documents in JSON format, but we're adding some new functionality as well uh, with LLM models, with large language models. Also, Sparrow uh, includes ChatGPT uh, plugin a reference implementation. So, if you want to implement your own ChatGPT plugin, you can look uh, how it's done in Sparrow. Uh, the backend is done in Sparrow plugin. A folder and UI with Streamlit and Sparrow plugin UI folder. So this uh, UI uh, for the ChatGPT plugin is running on a local computer and is exposed for this custom domain using NROC uh, functionality and you can see that uh, the connection is secure through the HTTPS and all this is um, uh, coming from NROC. And by the way, with Enroc, you can also get out of the box content compression, so you don't need to set up like uh, engines to compress the content that is coming out from your application to the outside. It's done automatically for yourself. Okay, so that's what I wanted to say. And um, in general, uh, it's uh, with Enroc, it's a very good approach uh, to expose your application. If you don't want to use purchase. Uh, if you don't want to purchase the plan from the Engrok, then there's a free version. Uh, the limitation is that with the free version you cannot set up custom domain and you get uh, IP uh, which uh, uh, or domain name, uh, Engrok domain name, which will be changed if you start and stop the service. So it's not reliable in this way, but it's good for uh, smaller applications for some weekend projects to test out and, and so on. And you can install Engrok clients on any operating systems and uh, expose any applications to the, to the internet. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Hopefully this was useful.